get yeah. better. He hasn't been. I know. Threat. That's why I'm sick. <laughs> okay. And he was behind a dead horse last yes, night. Yes, he was. You were right. I mean, not literally a dead horse, a horse no, that a wasn't racing. Horse. <laughs> a tiring horse. <laughs> Seventh race. Okay, there are 10 claimers, and Mike's going with, I get the picture as this trikey. 10 spot. You know what? This horse got some action last time. I know. And I gave did. it a big effort, he too. He sure did. And what about the 10th race? The 10th race? Beware of Lady has the rail, Mike. I'm going to go did with Royal Strike that? Key. He, he didn't look at that one. No, 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 no. That's Tuesday night's card from Sportsman's Park, so until next time, we'll see you at the race. Good night. Chicago. Seven Provisions to Win is owned by the CGS Provision Company. Cute, huh? There you cute, go. Cute, cute, cute. Wonder go where they got that name at. I don't know. <laughs> the fourth race, we've got our first Miller Solid Plan. We're looking at the third race, the first track back down the evening's card. They're two and three year olds, and they're non winners of a race in a lifetime. Now, Mike, you're going with Rorty Bill. Mm -hmm. But like you said, Dave McGee's going to have a good, good night. He's got a horse here, Red Dog, Red that's Dog. trained by Tex Moth, yeah. that owns by Steam. I'm Nuka. very, very concerned about that horse. I went, with, I went with Rorty Bill, and I'll tell you why, Eleanor, experience. This the co-feature tonight, the main event, Phillies and Mares, not listed invitational. We had a $7,000 private trifecta, a $1,500 perfecta with the ladies last night. Let's see what Tuesday's you going to bring, know. Mike. But Mike's going to start the show and look really good. And of course, Steve and Judy help, but happy birthday, Greg. Yeah, and Greg's also the guy that brings home in pizza. I remember That's that. true. Okay. Only he puts sausage down on the line. I like it that way, Greg. But I like winners, yeah. and I like Mike to give me his park. $1.7 million was the total combined handle, and uh, good racing action. Good, by the way, closer to 1.8. 3,000 short. One point. I like to have the difference. Okay, you can have it. Okay. And tonight on Horses to Watch, brought to you by Aero Chevrolet and Chrysler Plymouth. I almost went da 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 da, but it's da 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 for the Phillies and Mares. That's all Phillies and Mares. 16 to 18 claimers look for Deep Woods Lady. So so card, but we did a million nine. I will never understand this. I don't. I don't understand it. Know what it shows you though? No. Tell me what it shows. No, it shows you that if the races are competitive, they'll bet them, and if you have, you could have a real good race in a small field. And maybe one or two stickouts, and they don't bet those. Right. That's so, like, they got to be competitive. You got to have. And then you do a million nine fifty three eight zero one. Right. Okay. okay. Right. Now I understand. Tonight, Saturday, we've got two eliminations of the Armbro Wolf, three-year-old Illinois conceived in fold, Pacers. Uh huh. Go Sox, Go Sox. Of course, <laughs> he didn't bet Go Sox. I didn't pick. Em. Didn't pick Go Sox. <laughs> But we'll talk about that a little bit later. Let's look at Friday night's card from Sportsman's Park. As I mentioned earlier, $1.9 million was the total combined handle from Friday night's... Shooter. Shooter. Direct shooter. Mm -hmm. you know, but you know what? I love this trunk horse. Yeah, well, you might 50 like... 50 to 1. I love him. 50 to 1? I love him. It'd be him. 99 to 1. <laughs> Eleanor, dream on. Okay. Direct, I will. Direct shooter. Iron. Mighty... Did I say mighty, mighty iron? Mighty, mighty iron, Mike. You know That's who is? you picked. It's really mighty run. I typed it wrong, Eleanor. That's like you're I'm always wanting to make me look like a jerk, and plus, <laughs> that's the horse isn't going to win. Ralph Roney's going to win. I'm going to go with Mighty Run. You want to know why? Ralph Roney. Want to know why? Why? Because he went so easily last time, and he looks like he fits real well again. But I'll tell you what, the horse. We're going to be handicapping tonight, Friday, from Sportsman's Park. We're going to look at racing action from Quad City Downs. But I really don't care about any of that because Go Sox is racing on Saturday. Yeah, he's going in the second division, and he drew in a course against Hopper Wellwood and St. Elmo Eagle. I know, it's going to be tough. So what have we got? We've got one division of them going the first race right, and one going one the, the tenth, tenth race. race. So that's Saturday night's card from Sportsman's Park. But let's look at Thursday night, the racing action. You get the first race, the first half, the daily double. But first, let's give you a handle. $1.3 million, driving double by Walter Paisley and by Wednesday. We've what have got, we got? we got the Golden Mist and right. we got Red Roan back in action. It's a three-year-old Illinois conceived in full fillies and some trotters. Well, until next time, we'll see you at the races. Good night. It's heating up. An American National Thursday night, if that's not enough for you, there's one Friday and Saturday, too. Well, there's a Handicap Friday. Handicap Friday and, and an American National Saturday? No, no. Just Thursday. Just Thursday. That's a good one, though. we got ten horses going. Two-year-old fillies. Two-year-old fillies. Okay. I sit around and I wonder, what am I going to do today? But I always go to the track. That's Maywood Park Race Track. I always go to favorites where you can watch and bet live thoroughbred racing action from Hawthorne Racecourse every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday afternoons starting at 1 o'clock. On Tuesday afternoons at 1, it's Belmoral Harness Racing, and Sunday night at 6.30, it's Belmoral Harness Racing. That's favorites at Maywood Park Race Track north at First Avenue. But this is my show, right, Mike? <laughs> my show. <laughs> doesn't pay attention to me. No, I don't. It so, gives me cues, I and I just keep talking to my guests. We only got two minutes. Guess. Doesn't make any difference. No, it doesn't. No. It doesn't make any difference. Just 
Shorten the races, that's to all. To shorten the races. Yeah. See, now do you want to change your answer about how easy it is to work with me? Not as no. easy as you think. <laughs> Okay. And the fans don't think that Mike really cares about having horses on top, but he really does. Oh, it's I, pride. Well, I had seven out of eleven. I had six out of eleven. That's a good feeling. You want to yeah. you want to pick winners, and if you uh -huh. pick winners, you think. Well, because like, but then you like to hold it over my head, then. Well, I like to beat you, Eleanor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Most definitely. On to race seven. Now we're at Maywood Park. Interesting. Something new and stupid and dumb <laughs> that won't work, but they're going to start it on Monday. and We're going to tell you what it is. It's changing. The turns indoor, they're trying to change the circumference One of the turn. half mile. One, One turn. turn. I think, uh, well, we'll talk about it more Monday, but I think there's going to be some other benefits about it that. Uh, Why don't they just build a racetrack that's one mile long straight away and put quarter horses on it? I don't think it'll fit there. I don't think it'll fit there, but, you know, I mean, part of the excitement is being on the half mile track. Why do they want to change it? Well, I think what they're trying to do is when they change the turn, it's to allow space so that their horse inside will not get locked in. But I think the biggest benefit on this will be that because the turn sweeps more, it's going to help horses more through the turn. And I think you're going to see, uh, I think you have a chance to have some horses make a, a three-wide move or four-wide move and clear in time. It'll be interesting. It's going to be interesting. That's coming up on Monday's program. We're going to look at the half-mile track change at Maywood Park. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for